Okay, so the last part of the Mode Frontier basic tutorial, uh, we're gonna take some data that I've already generated based on, it's basically the same experiment that we set up in the previous tutorial, and we're gonna analyze some of this data. So see, you can see here when your experiment finishes, it'll finish out, I'll give you the, whole, the total time elapsed, the number of designs completed, and if you go now into your design space, there's a lot of tools and visualization uh, types that will help you kind of study your data. Uh, the first important one is the design table. If you click that, it'll basically open up a table of all of your designs. So here it has the random DOE, that's your initial population, and it has all of the designs generated by MOGA2, which is the genetic algorithm solver. The first kind of useful chart are these bubble charts. They're basically uh, kind of a better version of a scatter graph, uh, which will allow you to study up to four objectives at once. And this is really important, because we're use, really, really gonna be using Mode Frontier to do multi-objective optimization. So if there's only one or two objectives, you can probably figure that out by yourself. But in this, we're gonna have a lot of objectives, and it's really useful to see them kind of all in the same chart. Um, if you click the bubble 4D, it'll pop up this window with uh, all your inputs, including the ID, which is the number of the design, and your objectives. And uh, for the first one, maybe we want to analyze um, the three objectives with the ID, so we can see how the solver progressed through time uh, in solving these different objectives. Uh, so for the X, we can coordinate, we can specify core area and floor area. And I'm doing this by holding control and clicking uh, each one. And you can, if you change your mind, you can unclick and click a different one. So we want to do the three objectives and then the ID. Click OK. And it's going to give you this bubble chart. So you can see here on the axes, uh, the area of the core is on the bottom. The area of the floor, um, of the floor place is to the left. And then there's two parameters on the um, in the bubbles themselves, the color denotes the ID, so the more red, the further along in the uh, test, and the size uh, denotes the footprint. 